A new era begins as Octagon MMA, Europe's best MMA show, is coming to the UK for the very first time. Octagon 48 will go down on November 4th at the world-renowned AO Arena in Manchester. Where UK fans will experience the electric atmosphere and heart-pounding action that Octagon MMA is known for across Europe and beyond. We will bring some of MMA's biggest names, plus a feature bout that puts two UK stars that nobody would expect to see inside the cage going head-to-head -head after 10 months of vigorous training. One of the UK's best comedians will take on reality TV superstar Jake Quickenden. This is the fight that many people have had their eyes on. You will see UK MMA's rising star, Liverpool's Shem Rock. And one of the most well-known, most dangerous. This phenom has already racked up eight victories before the time limit, with seven of them in the very first round. And the cherry on top will be the grand finale of the MMA reality TV show, Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. After two months of the TV show, at this night in Manchester, the Octagon Challenge champion will be crowned. That's it! Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester. Panther in the building, Los Angeles. I'm gonna be this guy, I'm gonna take that belt. So here we go, main event time here. That will see the interim featherweight title on the line. Mate Senekite, the reigning featherweight champion, dislocated his shoulder in training just two weeks ago. I was with Andre Novotny when the news came through and there was no options. Literally, who do you ask? Who takes Keita on two weeks' notice? Andre spoke once to the coach, Andre Ryander of Jakob Dakota. They answered with, we expected this call, and we say yes. No terms, no challenges, no special requirements, just the simple answer of yes. And the reason it's a yes from the coach and the fighter is they truly believe with this young man's but in particular grappling, that brown belt in jiu-jitsu, the heavy grappling style, they have the kryptonite to what has been the undisputed, undefeated, unbelievable Lozen Keita. And he's definitely going to have to show that, but I feel 
The grappling prowess he definitely possesses, but he also is dangerous on the feet. And that gives it with the speed and the striking he has, he can mix them together. Because anyone who's tried to take down Lozen and Kita just by wrestling, just by attacking the grappling, has struggled to do so. But if you can mix in the hands, mix in the feints, and mix in those mid-ranges, you can manage to do it. And for me, this fight is much tougher for Lo San Quita than the original Santa Kitze was. Because he's so varied, he's so good everywhere. And he took Santa Kitze to a, a razor thin decision as well. But for me, this is a more well rounded uh, a fighter. And his style is much harder to deal with for Lo San Quita. And his confidence is oozing. His last fight was for that featherweight title. That bitter taste drove him to drive further to improve himself as a mixed martial artist. And he wants to show that tonight. When you talk about talent, when you talk about rising stars, when you talk about the most popular fighters on the Octagon roster, the first name that comes to mind is this man, Lo San Keita. 25 years of age, 25 years of age, and only been doing mixed martial arts for less than six years. This is his second fight at featherweight. Initially debuted in Octagon against Kaoru Rishavi at lightweight. That was his first fight at lightweight after all of his other fights came at welterweight. Demolished Rishavi. Then fought Paradisa for the interim title. Took a, an amazing performance to rise above Paradisa to get the decision. Then he was the bookies underdog against Ivan Bookinger. The legend that is Ivan Bookinger, the champ champ at that point. He blitzed through him in three minutes. That's all it took to claim that lightweight belt. He beat Samuel Bart. Samuel Bart, a high level fighter, somebody on the European scene who was making waves. He finished him in the very third round in their last fight. That was his debut at featherweight. Now he looks to buy for legendary status. He looks to buy for that champ champ status. And he's going up against Jakob Tikosa tonight. You can see that his grappling coach holding on to that lightweight, lightweight title as he makes his way to the cage to try and become that champ, champ, even if it's an interim title, it's still one deserved. As Santa Kitze couldn't make it here tonight due to his injury. This will be a huge moment for Keita, and I've been fortunate enough to commentate on every single one of his performances here at Octagon and to visit him and in his gym and train with him. And for me, this is the weight division he belongs in. He's been fighting out of his weight class at lightweight. He's small for a lightweight. Now we're going to see him at featherweight. He's never looked better physically. At the weigh-ins, he looks superb. And he always brings a crowd. He always brings the energy. And even coming out to his own walkout music. You know, he's a real character in talent, in personality, and just in presence. And coming here to try and take the double champ status, you know, you, you, you think of nothing less when it comes to Los Enkata. Full star power. Inside the cage is the lightweight champ vying for that interim title to take him to champ, champ status. We shall witness this bout here. And the tale of the tape tells us one story. 25 versus 23. These two young men in their prime height and reach slightly on the side of Jakob Chim Tikota. 10 and 0 is Lozen Kater. 5 and 1 is Jakob Tikota. But the tip sport odds in the favor of the lightweight champ. Dami a panové, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last fight of the evening. We brought you this fight in association with Fit for You, Premiové Vizioe Doplňky. Our judges skate side for this fight are Clemens Werner, Wojciech Novák, and Gerd Richter. And the referee in charge of the action is Václav Psibil. And now, this is the main event of the evening for Octagon MMA featherweight interim title. And this is the moment we all been waiting for. And that's why we all together. A proto všichni společně jedeme! Let me 
introduce you both fighter in a fight which is scheduled for five five minute round and we will start in a blue corner he is 23 years old stands 178 centimeter tall weighting 65.7 kilo represent Reinders MMA and the coaches in his corner are Andre Reinders Jaroslav Moltaj he has a professional record of six fights five in and only one loss fighting out of Czech Republic Jakub Chimpa Chichota Across the cage in the red corner, 25 years old, stands 176 centimeter tall, weighting at 65.75 kilo. Represent Lamiro Fight Club, and the coaches in his corner are Steven Outers and Jano Zakia and Imani Ourane. He has a professional record of 10 fights. 10 wins and 6 KO, representing Neruda Cup team Hot Peppers and fighting out of Belgium. Lightweight champion Octagon MMA, Lozen Black Panther. Fighters, fight round, five minutes. Follow my instruction. Touch gloves if you want. Go back to your corner. Good luck, man. It is time for the main event of the evening here. Octagon 42. What a night it has been already. In the blue corner, Jakub Chim Tikota taking on the undefeated lightweight champ, vying for that interim featherweight title. Lozan Keita, me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett. Oi, Keita catches the kick early. He's Charges so good forward. at doing that. He's so good at catching that low kick. Anyone who attempts it on him, he reads it so well. Super reactions, but Tikota, when I spoke to him, there's a confidence in him. Well, he's going to need that confidence, I feel, for Keita here in his natural weight class now. Finally at featherweight, possesses the speed, the real unbelievable speed that he has. He can compete across weight classes and the power too. So people believe that he's going to struggle in the grappling situations, but Takoa's got to get him there. Yeah. And, and it's very, very difficult with the power that he possesses. And what he does is he puts this pressure on you. Forward pressure all the time from the Black Panther. Yeah, Takoa as well. He was training for a fight in the, o, in the O2 in Prague on May 20th against Ahmed Villa. Oh, and his coach says he's in shape, but look at this, already tasting the power of Keita. It's just the speed. It's inhuman sometimes when you watch it from Kieta. The, the reactions that he has and when he wants to. Look, great spool oh, there. Oh, that's a nice nice work, though, to go low on this single. Can he chain it together? This is the part where no one's been able to keep Keita in those spots, right? Exactly, and it's just the power he possesses. You see there, digs in the underhooks. Nice swift jab. Once he gets hold of those and, and makes the basic shapes, he's so strong and powerful in these positions. Oh. But Takoa doing a good job, doing exactly what he needs to do. He needs to make it messy, can't be clean. Needs to come forward, needs to shoot low on those single legs. And again, this pressure right in front of us in the commentary box. You see Keita just pushing forward. Yes. Bringing that pressure and having that re those reactions that he's got, he can just throw. Takoa keeping on his bike, keeping moving. Nice left Take hand it. from the southpaw position. Switching now, Keita. And Tagota just can't stand still, right? The key is not to be caught in that sniper-like range of uh, Lozen Keita. What Keita does so well is he ma makes you s pause. He makes you freeze from doing the feints. Nice little feints, stepping feints. There's another one. Makes you freeze in any attacks. So you need, you need to not fall for those feints. You need to always be moving, because that makes... Again, see that feint there? Then he oh, lands a good shot. Oh, and another he's one. wobbled him. Lozen Keita looking for the first-round finish. And he makes it look so easy, effortless there, as he lands a two-punch combination and rocks to come and puts him to the ground. Takota, though, as soon as he hit the ground, he was wild. He wasn't letting Keita come in for free. You see now the eyes have changed, though, for Takota. He's felt this energy now. He keeps going for that lead leg as well. He keeps attacking it with kicks and then looking for the, uh, the single leg. Hey, head kick. Head kick as well. That's what I love to see as well. Keita mixing it up now and adding in these extra techniques. 
has incredible boxing, great speed in the hands, but if he adds in those legs as well, he's a nightmare. Dakota going with that step in tape, blood coming from his nose now. Already tasted some of that power, as you said. And remember, this is five rounds, this fight. And you, you know, Keita not even breathing heavy. In his own speed, in his own rhythm, putting on that pressure. Just calm, he could do this all day. But as you can see, the panic in the face of Dakota, trying to work out the puzzle that is Los San Keita. Let's see if he goes back to working on that lead leg. He's firing that low kick a number of times. Now he always looks to go in on this single. Oh, wild. But you can sense the desperation now, looking for those takedowns. You can sense how desperate he is. And that you, that's where you see Lowson calm down even more now, not trying to overexert his pressure, keeping his feet under him. He doesn't need to. He oh, can just wait so for his quick. Moment. And the right, and hand. the right hand again. The right hand. Oh, and the Big hand this. Lowson Keita looking for that champ champ stairs and trying to finish it here in the first. And just absolutely effortless from him. Again, happy to wait. Less his man back to his feet, still on wobbly legs, is not, Dakota. Not chasing it. Oh, and now in front of us once again, catches that kick, the head kick. head kick. It just feels inevitable. It's Matrix-like movement from Keita. The power on top of it, Dakota trying to survive, swinging heavy. Oh, and, and again. Another head kick drops oh, it. the referee standing there, but the corner calling him on. The corner don't want to let him st stand him up. Still on wobbly legs. There's the look in the eye you were talking about. There is the glazed look in Dakota's eye as Keita moves in. Just the absolute fear and understanding, the realization of what he's dealing oh. with. You cannot see it when you watch, but when you feel it, when you're in there with him and you feel what he possesses, it's just, it's like our different gear. It's a different energy, it's a different dynamic. And let's be honest, right now it looks like a different level. Credit, all credit to Dakota for taking this fight. But right now, one round in. What I love about the maturity of Los Angeles is he's not pushing it. He's not overexerting himself. He's not taking the risk. He doesn't need to. He just wait, put that pressure on, wait for the mistake to come from Dakota. The mistake is throwing that leg kick. Every time he throws that low kick, catches it, bang, right hand. Every single time. He hasn't even been out. He can't find that range. He's a bit desperate to try and get those entries. He did well the first time, and Kier just shoved him off. Just shoved him off, dug in an underhook, got those double unders and threw him away. Listen, you see in the corner there, Andre Ryan, that there's such a bond between these two guys. I think about seven years they've trained together. He will be trying to make those adjustments with Dakota. And I, I almost stopped watching the clock as we were watching the masterclass. That was this, that was the performance in round one of Lozen Keita. Talk us through. He just looks inevitable like he's going to finish it. He could keep going, but he waits. What I like is him adding in this head kick. He's done it a few times. Touched him with the left hand. Here's a nice shot. Big right hand drops, but he doesn't overexert. He doesn't go for the finish. He doesn't need to. He's not overexcited. He's got four more rounds. And it'll be four more rounds of the same unless Dakota can find an answer. Dakota's grappling coach there just leant over and was talking about the body lock. Looking to try and get that. He's attacking the legs at the minute, which is causing him problems. 13 to 1 outsider now on the tip sport odds. That is how much of an outsider from that first round, I'd have to agree. Let's see what adjustments he can make. Let's see if Lozan Keita can hunt for that finish in round number two. He said, I expect to finish. He never predicted the round. You know, when you see these sort of performances, I think he just oh, he yeah, got oh, a yeah. punch and he fell to the ground. It looked like the ankle went there. I'm not sure what it was, but as he stepped back, something didn't seem right. And now Keita just walking into him. Just playing with him, Keita. Oh, head kick, head kick attempt there from Dakota. Needs to gain the respect now. At the moment, it just looks like a predator. <laughs> playing with his prey. Warming it down in round number two. And like you said, this is scheduled for five, five minutes. Oh, oh head, kick. head kick lands again. Head kick, that was nice. Come out of nowhere, that lead leg. Nice from Dakota. We. Uh, maybe a little bit of confidence in the eye, just connecting like that with Dakota. And small moments can make a big difference, right, Luke? Exactly that, but here's Keita coming on. 
Sometimes you need two people to make it a fight, to make it a war. He needs to throw, and once Keita gets hit, it's that kick when he catches those kicks. He catches the rear kick. That, that was the lead left. Yeah, one lead that came left up. head kick. Very, very nice. Oh, and there's a nice bit of head movement there. Credit to Tikoto. He must be in some shape to have shaken off those cobwebs from round number one. He took so many big shots. Nice movement here from Keita, putting on the pressure right in front of us. Big Keep swing and a miss. Keeps fainting with that. Up. Yeah, and that's what makes you freeze those faints. But it's also little movement. deters Yaku from coming in for that single leg, which he went for repeatedly in round number one. Again, going for that head kick. That's definitely been a, a good weapon for him. Nice stiff jab lands. Two minutes, 45 seconds left in round number two. Needs to stay switched on here. Does low Sankieta. And going for that lead head kick again. Switching to the southpaw stance. And funnily enough, in that uh, Thai boxing match against Milan Palace, it was actually the lead left kick that Keita got caught with and wobbled a little bit in that fight as well. But again, it's the power for Keita. Used to the lightweight division, dropping down now. This division very big and strong and still carrying that speed and explosive energy. It's so, I mean, trans oh, that, that jab caught him. That's put him on wobbly legs again. Again, maturity being shown here from Kerr. Doesn't need he to doesn't, get more. He doesn't want to go down. He's not giving that away for free. No way. But it no was need. The, it was the jab. You talk about the power. It was the jab that put Jakub Tikocha on wobbly legs then. And two rounds in and already wearing all that damage. And not that many strikes. Kerr's only thrown 18 significant shots. He's not overexerting. He's not overthrowing. He's keeping his energy. He knows it's five rounds. He could just do this and continue, and, and he's safe. Three. Nice paint. Trying to set up the distance. Switches to southpaw, throws that left head kick. Stiff jab, man. Now the vision being effective of Dakota. The more you miss, the more your confidence drops. The more you throw those shots and Kia gets out of the way. He reads the situation so well. Wow, in for the sink, in for the double, sorry. One minute left now. And shucked off, effortless again. Just reads it so well. The crowd are booing, but I don't know why, Luke. I don't know why. I feel like they're booing Takota for just laying on his back, not wanting to go into the fight. This is what he does so well, just, just has that pressure, constant pressure, constantly in the face. Constantly just admitting forward, forward, forward. Oh, nice spinning hook kick attempt from Takoa. Just shows the level. Takoa is an extremely talented fighter. Yeah, Incredibly good. Martial artist since the age of seven. Karate was his base. Oi, and Taekwondo. There's the kicking game. Oh. Again, drops down to the floor. Looks like we will see a third round. At the end of round one, I'm sure the tip spot odds wouldn't have bet very much they would get to round number three, but even though the crowd are booing to coach on his back, again, a round, you have to say he lost, but not as devastatingly as, as that first round. I feel like he came out in the first round a lot more aggressive and got punished for it in the second round. He, he, he's accepted his position, and he's trying to find that left head kick, and he's he got some success with it and some great ideas, but... Really, we know he wants to take down. And Kieta is so, so in control. You know, so again, what I like about him, as devastating as he is, he knows the only matter, that, the only thing that matters is that finish. The moment where he gets it, he's got 25 minutes to do that work. He can take the full 25 minutes. As long as he gets the finish, that's all he cares about, or if he gets the victory. He's not, he said that. He was asked, I believe, by Andre on stage, what round are you going to win? And when are you going to win? You have a prediction. He says, I just care about winning. Yeah. It just shows the maturity and the understanding that he has. Yeah, he said he predicts the finish, but he won't predict what round. We'll just let it come, and look that's at that the jab. jab. It, that was the jab. That puts Dakota on wobbly legs. Again, we'll take another look. Boom. See the wince instantly there on the left side of the face. But definitely the first round, he got caught with some much bigger shots. Round number three. Scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. Again, the corner asking for the body lock. 
He has to get close to Kei to even be able to do that. Referee wiping down Keita. Here we go. Keita straight out of the box. <laughs> Round three. Off we go. Octagon 42. This is the main event in Bratislava. What a return to this city it has been. And the potential three more rounds should this go the distance between these two for the interim featherweight title. Again, trying to set up that left head kick to Koa, trying to put it behind a jab as well. So trying to go left hand, left head. There it is. Oh, and again, he's, got, he's going low on the legs, right? Easy defense, though. Again, when you can't mix it in with punches and you just do a naked shot, you're never going to get it. You need to attack the head, attack the body. Again, just another naked shot. That shows desperation. That's the problem. Needs to set it up with punches. Needs to put, you know, Kieta in trouble on the feet. Needs to hit him with something. Needs to gain his respect and then change levels. I'd like to see Keita double up this jab now and then throw the right hand. Start throwing more than one shot. Oh there, the big right my hand. gosh. The heavy, heavy right hand right down the middle. Oh. Now he might follow him in. Now he's going to let him up. The right hand, though, look, that the most significant strike I feel of the fight. Yeah, he needs to get that distance, and he found it there with a the one two. I'd like him to double up that jab just to get a little bit closer, and then that would be good night. But big shot there landed. Switches starts to the southpaw, switches back, faints, and look at the reaction, look at the bite you oh. get. Head kick comes, needs to be careful because of a grounded opponent. Was on his feet, I believe. That's credit it, though to, in the to go to just saying I'm okay, it's not gonna be a factor. And that says a lot about him. A lot of people would take any any little extra that they could get in a fight like this. That's not how Jakob Takota is built. Yeah, Jakob is in there, he's, he's going for the victory. He's trying to find an answer. He just cannot at the moment, and this is his only option. But he caught him at once, and now you've seen the adjustments that Kier has made. He's not going to fall for that same oh, trick. Oh, again, the right. The jab, sorry, the straight left. Oh, now Kater looking for the wait, finish. Wait, he wants wait, the finish. Beat now, wait. Wow. Right in front of us here in the commentary box, we see the speed. Well, we saw him sit on his punches then as well. Then he really dug. Yeah, but then to cut it through, heavy shot as well, rebelling. It just built oh, inevitable here, here. Right in front of us again. Dakota still firing back. Just waiting for that one to land. I'd like to see him go to the body as well. Maybe that outside hook, that left hand. If he can attack different ranges, go to the body too. Just open up Dakota even more. Another desperation shot. Not letting him off the fight, though, as soon as he gets back to his feet, straight back into range, straight back into making that, Jakob That's Tinkota his talent. That's what makes him special. He's staying in this range, this striking range. Just so, such good reaction speed that he could just stay in here, put pressure on, and when he's ready, pop out, pop back in. He's so fast. Oh, There's that body again, shot. The, body shot. For. the left of the liver fired in there from Lozen Keita. Oh, and now a kick to the liver. Hey, oh, big shot. Oh, my that's gosh. Yeah. One, two. The referee on top of this hammer fist coming down. Lozen Keita looking to claim the title, looking to become the double champ. And Takota throwing up some sort of submission attempt. And he's going to let him back up to his feet. I thought that was one and done with that right this, hand. We, I don't feel we're far off. But still, Takota digs deep. Stalking his man again. He might not have the belt around his waist, but that championship heart is Strong in Dakota, surviving so many big shots. Lozen Keita. Beautiful hips. Fantastic takedown defense. And <laughs> <laughs> just looks at the referee. Come on, bro, let him up. Off we go again. Again, searching for that body shot. It's the right hand that's the danger shot, though. That's the good night shot. 45 seconds left. 45 seconds left, Camp Reed oh. switches up for an elbow, uppercut. Realigning, getting his range once again. Stiff jab. Patience, that's the word of this fight. Absolute patience. Control of distance and just waiting for his moment. That spinning hook kick again. Nice attempt. Fire, why not? 
But, but look at the face yeah, look at the of damage. Jakob Tukota, absolutely distraught. And you see, look at the other side in Los Sanchieta, doesn't even look like he's been in a fight, doesn't look like he's been hit once. This will be us moving into the championship rounds. Oh my goodness. Still in this fight though is Jakob Tikota, but, and I'm sure the odds will reflect it. Feels like he's not walking away with this fight, but running away with it, Lozan Keita. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think it was, what was it, 12 to one outside. 13 to one. 13 to one, what's it gonna be now? Interesting to see. We shall wait, we shall see. The doctor also stepping in just to get an eye to keep a check on. It was the yeah, closest to finishing the fight that in that round as well with those ground and pound shots. Dinkita just didn't want to, he didn't want to blow his engine, didn't want to blow out his gas tank. So he just said, okay, never mind, you're a tough guy, I'll stand up. And this is some of the uh, the action from that fight and Takota eating some big shots, the There's right that hand. big right hand that he landed as well. There's another one coming. There's the slightly to the back of the head too. And here we see, oh, I think, the big one. That's a big go. shot, the lands. And Losen follows it up and it, gets some ground and pound. It looked like this was almost it. But couldn't quite get Jakob out there. But listen, Jakob reacted to the referee. The referee said, show me something. And he did, and that kept him in the fight. Now we are in the championship rounds. Round four, set to get underway here. Jakob Tikota from the Czech Republic out of Rinders MMA taking on Lozan Keita. Championship rounds, round number four. Was that just one, seven to one now? Somehow Tikota slightly moving further closer into the odds. Interesting. Let's see if he can put on a show and do something spectacular here. Still possesses the, the skill set. Kate has got to stay sharp. He's got to stay switched on. Oh. Catches that leg again. Nice head kick. Oh, big kick. That's a huge kick. That's a huge kick. The referee getting him back to the feet. Setting up a highlight read. We'll finish here. It's Los Sanchieta. All heart, Jakob Tikota. It's taken so many shots that would have crumbled other opponents, not just physically, but mentally. Yeah, the mental game of Tikota is impressive. Still trying things, coming up with ideas. Trying to find his way oh, to get that takedown. Great yeah. sprawler, great amazing hips. Flying sprawl there from Lozan Keita. Huge reactions. Just walks his man down. We saw the same stuff about Ivan Buckinger. Fearlessly walked forward and finished it in three minutes. I was only lead and head kick down. And I'm sure one man who will be watching this eagerly and disappointedly is Mate Sanikidze back in Georgia. I'm not sure we'll be giving him much hope for his bout that obviously is going to come against Gator at some point. Takota hasn't even been able to get close to grappling with Los Sanchieta as he catches the leg again. Again, that's how it all started, round one. That caught kick and then a, a straight right down the pipe. Here we go, biting on these feints again. Oh, There's a one to another, the lands. Another right hand connects, now the body work. Big stuff here from Keita, digs to the liver. Another oh, big shot. This right is punishing. The oh, he's dropped into the, the liver. Almost annoyed is Los Sanchieta. Listen, the referee gave to coach a little look. It's the body shot, Luke. It's that dig to the liver. I think that's the shot Keita wants to try and finish it with. In and out, controlling the range. Oh, again. Goes to that body. Watch the way he rips that. It's a, a different energy. Sets it up. Opens it up, lifts that elbow of uh, Tikota and then fires to the liver there with the left hand. No wasted shots here though from Keita, waiting. But watch that body shot, Luke, that could open up the head shot, that could open up a, a serious left hook on the Again, right. looking for that takedown, beautiful hips. On the explosive sprawl, we see 55 significant punches from Keita. And again, none of them wasted. I'd like to see the accuracy, how many he's landed. One minute, 45 seconds. Oof. 
Still light on his feet to go to. That says something about the conditioning of this young man as well as the mental state. Because this has been the toughest fight of his life, without a doubt. I don't know what's stopping Lothar Kieta from throwing. But every time he throws, he doesn't miss. You can hear the corner, they want that body shot back. They want him to attack. Oh, oh yeah, big right hand. Right hand. And that is it. Right hand. got to be the finish. That's it. That is it. Lozan Keita enters champ champ status with the right hand. The finish of Jakub Tikota. Wow. Incredible stuff. Effortless. From the moment he started to the moment he finished. <laughs> Lo Easy work. Bolo San Chiesa, as he jumps the cage. He gets some food at the side of the cage. All character, all personality, and all business inside the cage. A phenomenal performance, really, from start to finish. Credit to Jakub Dakota for taking the fight. Credit for staying in the fight for that long. And look, there's nothing but respect between the two. But enough was enough. The referee, once he saw that drop. What could you do? What can you do? What, what is, is the, the answer? answer? What is the answer to the man they call Lozen Keita? No one has found it yet. No one has asked the question that has put him on the back foot. Flawless from start to finish. Incredible stuff there from Lozen Keita. Took his time, fell in complete control of the fight and was in complete control of the fight. Landing repairably. And fantastic work from him and his team as well. Yunus Lamrov there just uh, enjoying the moment. And let's also give credit, this guy's trained through Ramadan. This team have trained through Ramadan. They have had to do the late night sessions because they wanted to make sure this fight stayed on. They wanted to make sure he's in the best condition possible. You talk about sacrifice. He doesn't take the easy road and he doesn't take days off no matter what is going on in his life outside the cage. Nothing else matters to him apart from this. Nothing else matters. I spent time with him and it's all he cares about as we see here. His work and his handiwork, they're going to the body. That almost crumbled him. There were so many times that almost crumbled him. And then we just see he loads up that heavy right hand and finishes there with a double shot step. Right hand finish. And the referee says that's enough. And we see 78 strikes, 57 seven of them significant. Managing to get a finish in the fourth round, three minutes and 53 seconds in. Incredible stuff from the Black Panther. Like I said multiple times, it felt inevitable that he was going to get the finish, but managed to do so in our fourth round. as they come together, and it's made official by Andre Novotny. Ladies and gentlemen, you know who's the winner. Your referee has called stop the reaction. In the fourth round, after three minutes and 53 seconds, by TKO, new interim featherweight champion octagon MMA, Black Panther, Lawson Keita. Lozen Keita, you said it, you've made it come true. You are now the champ champ, the lightweight champion, the interim featherweight champion. How does that feel? Uh, first of all, I want to thank my main sponsor, Monaco Bet. And second, Tihuta, with the belt of no belt, you are a champ. 21 years of old. That means I must go back to the gym and work my ass off again. You catch me up. 21, I'm 25, this guy can stand like this. And uh, yeah, and uh, I want to thank my physique coach, Simon. He stand up. Simon, thank you all. I'm Akita, Vroom up the stand. And uh, Idrin van Kortrijk, the heres. And Messer, the Tuesday kicking. And my four coaches. And Bratislava, how you doing, boy? Woo! Ah. Listen, it was a, a fantastic performance. You controlled it with your range, your striking. Were you surprised at just how much damage Dakota could take? You know, I know I have fights soon. 
I didn't, I didn't want to change to, uh, too much difficult. I know the fight was going easy. I don't want to make it difficult for me. Like, that's the amount of champion. I look for the finish, but if I can play it safe, I play it safe. Because soon, I have a new opponent. And let me tell you about something. I know you guys be promoted this guy, but first, start promoting before he make his debut. Boy, Shamrock, say my name one time again, I kill you, boy. What's up for this performance, bitch? That was nothing, bro. Fuck. Listen, you're calling out some names there, but you got two belts on your shoulder. That means two targets on your back. You're the featherweight interim champion. We, we don't know the timeline on matters and the kids are coming back. You're the lightweight champ. What do you want to do? Which belt would you like to defend first? I don't care. I'm here. Like, I'm in good shape. I didn't take too much damage, thank God. I'm in shape. Monday, you will see me back at the gym, working my ass off again, because that 21, 21 years gave me a lot of trouble. I like to improve myself. So yeah, see me, see me in the gym Monday. There we go, Lozan Kater, you made it come true. Champ, champ status, featherweight and lightweight champion, Lozan, Black Panther Kater! A new era begins as Octagon MMA, Europe's best MMA show, is coming to the UK for the very first time. Octagon 48 will go down on November 4th at the world-renowned AO Arena in Manchester where UK fans will experience the electric atmosphere and heart-pounding action that Octagon MMA is known for across Europe and beyond. We will bring some of MMA's biggest names, plus a feature bout that puts two UK stars that nobody would expect to see inside the cage going head-to-head -head after 10 months of vigorous training. One of the UK's best comedians will take on reality TV superstar Jake Quickenden. This is the fight that many people have had their eyes on. You will see UK MMA's rising star, Liverpool's Shem Rock. And one of the most well-known, most dangerous... This phenom has already racked up eight victories before the time limit, with seven of them in the very first round. And the cherry on top will be the grand finale of the MMA reality TV show, Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. After two months of the TV show, at this night in Manchester, the Octagon Challenge champion will be crowned. That's it. Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester.